Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Andre, and I've got this beautiful brisket trim here. Did some briskets for a party on the weekend, and I love burgers. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna grind it, and make some beautiful brisket hamburgers. But we're gonna do them in the smoker. This is something I haven't done yet in the new smoker. I'm excited to try this and see how it goes. So all we're gonna do now is get the trusty grinder put together and then grind this. I'm gonna grind it through the smallest plate I have. We're only gonna grind it once because we don't want this to stick together. We still want it fairly loose and have a nice fluffy burger. You grind it too many times, it gets too bound together. We don't want that. Let's just start. And you gotta have some fat in the burger. So what I did, the, the trim was really lean, so I took some of the extra fat I took off the brisket and put it in here too. I don't know the exact ratio, but it's it's very close to like an 80-20, which is a great ratio for burgers. And let's get to it. Got all that done, looks beautiful. We are gonna add a little bit of spices to it and give it a little quick mix. That's all we're gonna do. Gotta add salt. I could get accurate and weigh it, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna go by feel. I'm gonna add some garlic. Some onion powder. Some black pepper. Mm. I love ancho, we're gonna add some ancho to it as well. And another classic spice, paprika. And now, like I said, we're just gonna mix this through a little bit. Because I like my burgers with flavoring all the way through. I don't, I'm not a fan of just putting the salt and pepper on the outside. And literally that's all I'm doing. But what I am going to do, I'm going to weigh out the burgers. So I've just got my scale here. Tear of that. I just want to make them all the same. That way I know cooking wise, it's going to be all the same. Let's see here. Oh, that's a little big. There we go. 200 grams and I will put in how many ounces that is below. Just form them really quick. These are homemade burgers. They don't have to be perfectly round. And, but you want to try and get them all the same thickness. Get on there. And I'm just going to continue on doing this and then we're going to go outside and put them in the smoker. Okay, got these all done. They look great. I'm going to put them on the hotter side. And uh, here we go, people. I don't want them touching because I want the smoke all the way around. Oh, don't break. And one more. So they look great. And uh, now in they go. I don't know timing. I'm going to assume they're going to need at least 20 to 30 minutes. So I'm going to come back after like 20 minutes and probe one because I want to get them at least to that internal of 71 degrees Celsius. And then they're done. Uh, there's going to be enough fat in there, so I think they're still going to be juicy enough. But in the meantime, let's go back inside and whip some uh, condiments together.
Okay, we're back outside. We're just at like 35 minutes. Oh, that blasts the hot air and you never get oh, used to that. Woo! These are looking good. Now let's take a temperature. 63, 64, 60, 59. So you know what, they're coming along nice. I'm gonna give them another like 15-ish minutes and then we're gonna dive into these bad boys. Beautiful, they're done. And uh, let's test them out now. Cause I wanna show you guys. There we go. Look, you got smoke ring. Beautiful, it's fully cooked. That's good. Here we go. I even toasted the buns on the grill outside. So I'll take some of this sauce. Top and bottom. I put some provolone on some and left them in there just to melt a little bit. I'm keeping mine very simple. A little bit of pickle, tomato, and that's it. There we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, look. So pretty. It looks fantastic. You know what? Sometimes it's, it's great just to keep it simple. Use good ingredients. Mm. That's so good. I thought I would miss like that char of a barbecue or charcoal, which is nice. Don't get me wrong. I love that. But this is really good. Smoky flavor. Still juicy. Still fluffy. <clears throat> mm. I have to say that is really good for a hamburger. I will be definitely doing that again, throwing them in the smoker, because you can almost forget about them. Keep, you have to keep an eye on them, but uh, I kind of lost track, but I think they were in there for about 45, 50 minutes at 250. Mm. You know what? So good, I love it. Keep it simple. And the beautiful thing is with all these ones here, I'm gonna have great lunches all week. I love it. Guys, thanks for watching, and I'm gonna go stuff my face now, off camera. And another winner, I will, yes, definitely try smoking your burgers. It's, it's great. Guys, thanks for watching, and happy eating.